Hey y'all, my name is Adrian Dupre. I'm with Forge Ministries. I'm one of the itinerant speakers. Let's do a quick little Devo right here on forgiveness. All right, it's called The Bait of Satan. John Bevere wrote a book called The Bait of Satan. Pretty interesting book. This one chapter really meant a lot to me. Um, 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 uh. The bait of Satan, when he's fishing for us, when the enemy's fishing for us, the name of the bait is called offense. Somebody offends you, insults you, makes fun of you, does something bad to you when you were a kid a long time ago. Uh, uh, the, all the different types of offense, and all of us have been offended. It hurts. I know it hurts. I've been made fun of quite a bit in my life. I understand the feeling. It's painful. When he fishes for us, it's called offense. Now, we know if we grab the bait or not by how we react to the, to the offense. The first step that happens is we become angry. Well, the Bible says be angry and sin not. So it's not a sin to be angry. It says be angry and sin not. Don't let the sun go down on your anger. Don't give the devil a foothold. So 24 hours later, that's when it turns into sin. So when, we, when anger is 24 hours old and we don't forgive quickly, that starts to breed in us, starts to, in, starts to grow in us. And anger does not bring about the righteousness of God, it says in James 1. So anger is very dangerous. The anger then gives rise to resentment. Now, resentment's outside. Like if somebody offends me, uh, uh, makes fun of me, like if, a, I don't know, some people passed or hurt somebody or somebody. We start putting everybody like that in a, in a box. That We resent all of them. Uh, if a woman hurts me, if a man hurts me, we start resenting people. Anger gives rise to resentment. Resentment's outside. Resentment then gives rise to bitterness. Bitterness is inside. Scripture says, let there not be a bitter root among you. Now, here's where it's nasty. Somebody offends us one time, and then we send back anger, resentment, and bitterness, all three biblical sins. We send back threefold. Satan wins. Seriously, look how nasty that is. Somebody hurts us, and I'm not trying to make that look smaller. It's nasty. It's bad. It's not good. But then we sin back threefold. Anger gives rise to resentment. Resentment gives rise to bitterness. Bitterness gives rise to self-pity. Now, self-pity for men is like feeling sorry for ourselves. For women, it's self-pity. Self-pity is nasty. We start blaming ourselves for what happened. Self-pity gives rise to depression. That's not the only reason why people get depressed. There's a lot of different reasons why people get depressed today. But that's one of the reasons why people get depressed. Now, how do you cut the line and get out of the bait of Satan? How do you cut the line and get out? The only way is to forgive whoever hurts you. Release them from the responsibility for what they've done and pray blessings on them. Until you pray blessings on them, you've never truly forgiven them. So release them and bless them. That's how you know you've forgiven somebody. When you're driving down the street and it comes back to your mind, don't brood on it. Don't go, oh, yeah, yeah. Remind yourself, nope, I forgave them. If you're in a conversation with somebody about what they, you know, how they got hurt and it's very similar to yours, don't pipe in, yeah, same thing happened to me. Don't do that because you forgave the person. And if they treat you again that way, you ever heard of a straw that breaks a camel's back? How can a straw break a camel's back? The only way possible is if there's two million other straws. So here's what I recommend. When you forgive somebody, you dump out the two million straws. Then the next straw just feels like a straw. A straw can't break a camel's back by itself. So if they treat you badly again in the future, treat it as if it's brand new. And if you treat it as if it's brand new, you can forgive them a lot more quickly. When we forgive, when we forgive, God is free to move amongst us. We don't want him handcuffed in any way, shape, or form. So let's forgive and throw it out like it's candy. Love you guys. We'll see you. Bye-bye.